All right, so back in the video, we're back in the reaction. We are here with the Ice Spice Backlash. Now, I reacted to her latest song, Delhi, but I ended up uploading it on Rumble because you know how YouTube get. Play five seconds of any song, they mess around, and no, you're not getting paid. At least that's how they do me. I don't get paid for YouTube yet, but they will yellow mark. Videos ain't going to be put up just like the Steph Curry vid. You know what I'm saying? With the the, uh, the hot wings, the Seth Curry bit. Not even two seconds of the video. Instantly took them. Or uh, block from YouTube. But anyways, that's not what this is about. I reacted to Ice Spice Deli. I, I put it on Rumble. You know what I'm saying? But I put this on everything I know and love. I waited a few hours later, right? I went on Ice Spice's IG page. All I kept seeing is, why is there a 16-year-old in the video? A 16-year-old throwing it back in the video is wild. Who is, why is this 16-year-old in the music video? I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching it from a, from a outside looking in, everybody grown, until I start seeing those comments. I'm like, who is this 16-year-old in the video? I'm about to pull it up for you right now and show you. So as I was looking to find, do my research to find who is the 16 year old that everybody's talking about. It was her. I don't know who this is. But I've always said it's always double standards with a lot of things. Especially in the United States. There's a lot of double standards. Because when I Spice do it, it's cool. But if R. Kelly do it, he's canceled. You know, surviving R. Kelly. All that stuff all over again. I don't, I don't know how to hog tie people. I hog tie. My kids is listening to this. And if I Spice do it, it's cool. No, she a baddie with her bad friend. I Spice it. is getting backlash for what we're going to talk about in just a second. No, I Spice, a 23 year old rapper out of the Bronx who blew up almost a year ago with Munch. Crazy to say a year because she's accomplished so much in just this year alone. I mean, she was practically unknown before that, and now 12 months later, she's getting mentored by Nicki Minaj. Crazy. Now that aside, as for the story at hand, let's talk about it. For a project like the visuals to this music video as far as the color scheme, very dope and very eye-catching. However, there's something in this music video that a lot of people have been calling out I Spice for. And what is that? Well, to put it simply, there's a 16-year-old girl in this video twerking i.e. shaking her ass. I'm gonna yeah, I didn't know that until like a few hours later. Show that if I the... never went on her page, I would have never known. Because I don't want to look at that while I'm editing this video. But one of the dancers who is twerking in this video, she's 16. She's apparently a... She just turned 16? God bless. TikTok star and has over... Nope. You got the stiff arm. You got the palm her head like these. You hit her with that Michael Jordan. You feel me? Followers on Instagram. God bless. That's Kai said. Follows this young girl on Instagram, so she obviously knows that she got a million followers. She's sixteen. Why she's in this video twerking at the mere age of sixteen? Like I said, it's double standards. Now if Usher do it. If R. Kelly do it, they cancel. That I'm just I saying, like, come on now. I Can't let this slide. I idea to put this young girl in the video that I don't know how this. I'm thinking everybody is growing in the video by her label that I don't know. You already know the woke community. I know y'all seen that checkerboard on that video at I the bottom. Know, she was standing on it. Was that this shit is weird as hell? Obviously, a lot of people, not enough people though, we'll talk about that in a second, but a lot of people were coming out, pointing this out, criticizing Ice Spice for featuring this 16 year old in her music video. Like I said a second ago, the backlash hasn't been all that intense, honestly. I mean, I've seen a little, but not a lot, and I'm sure you can take a guess why. It's cause she's a woman. Yo, don't be so loud, quiet, quiet. Wait, what do you mean quiet? They gonna call you a misogynist, bruh. Me, a misogynist? What? They gonna call me a misogynist? Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. Does yeah. nobody care about that? You need to, you need to say yeah, something. <laughs> you can't just let this sweep under the rug, nah, man. Nah, they gonna call you a misogynist. You say I something. Mean, I have a double standard, cause like, you know, like if a dude did this, if a man did this, I would have called his ass out. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's what I just said. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that's fucking crazy. Nigga at that point, right? Yeah, fucking, fucking. Yeah. So, I got to be able to call it out. Come on. I also noticed how a lot of the same media outlets who promote Ice Spice haven't said anything about this. And I think it's strange because recently I talked about Blueface having his son around strippers in a crib. And I made sure to light his ass up. There's an example right there. Blueface having his child around some grown naked women. Y'all crucial. Y'all, y'all, y'all hate Blueface. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been hating Blueface ever since y'all met Krishan Rod. Y'all been hating on Blueface. And a lot of those other media outlets did the same. A lot of people decided to come crawling out the woodwork to shame Blueface, which he of course deserves. Same thing with Boosie, who sometime back was proudly boasting about soliciting help for his children. But a lot of those same people ignored... Nah, yeah, she, she, she's wild. Sukiana twerking on a 10-year-old boy, and a lot of those... Seeing that vid, that's crazy. Same people are also ignoring this Ice Spice situation. Let's just put it like this. At least half of the people who follow Ice Spice are dudes who are thirsty to see some ass. A lot of those are grown men, like grown men. So they follow her now. 50. <laughs> y'all be 50. I seen y'all in them comments, my boy. You not slick. You about cool 50, 55. Y'all uncles at the cookout. Y'all cook, y'all barbecue uncles in our comments talking about. Feet pictures are amazing for me. Not because they like right, me, man, come on because now. they're no, shadows like a there, famished bro. hyena waiting for Ice Spice to put up yet another sexy provocative boy. photo slash video. By the way, if you're one of them, please click off this video and touch some grass. Ice Spice putting this young girl out the forefront in this manner is essentially giving all those grown men material, if you know what I mean. And it sounds crazy when I say it, and it sounds disgusting, but with how Ice Spice portrays herself, y'all should only see some of the comments people drop whenever she posts a pic of herself. I mean, it's crazy. And it's, of course, a oh, certain demo. Graphic of men who are on that. Y'all blew her up. If you're listening to me, all little thirsty hyenas blew her up. I know that's not you, cause like I said, they going now. Now that she outside like this, like now that she got like over a million followers, they're gonna groom her to be the next Nikki. Watch. Know my oh, audience. My audience. Sick of all the ads like this one? Just head to like, adskiller.com. Roman reloading Nick. now. That's what they're going to groom her I'm up. I'm sure we can agree that those types of men it's the 2023 are version. usually too Four horny version. for their own good, and I'll just leave it at that. I just think it's crazy that we've gotten to a point where this is normalized now, and a lot of people have been saying, have y'all not seen those old R&B videos of a bunch of young girls shaking their hips and shit? All the young girls I know used to be twerking in my neighborhood to the music playing through the speakers. First of all, I don't know what kind of neighborhood you grew up in. Maybe it's 223 Dysfunction Avenue. Second of all, I don't know precisely what video they're talking about. Maybe a Nelly video or something. I don't know, right? That being the case, does it make it okay? Just because it's happened in the past, are we really going to sit here and justify this? You got to look at it like this. And this is something the system, if you will, is really good at doing. Pay attention. If we as a collective come together and say that something is okay, meaning we as a people, we agree on that a standard that didn't exist in the past now is the new standard after it was introduced to us by outside forces. What happens is next time around, they'll put something else in front of our faces, which is a step below what we previously were introduced to. And then we're going to green light that as well. Connecting this to this I Spy story. Here we have a 16 year old girl on a mainstream artist music video who's doing something that the average 16 year old girl a decade ago did not do if we get decent this is the era we live in that's what it's about what's crazy is you know like it's always it kind of always been like this but now it's really popular sex sales that's what sells copies is body skin chichis yacht you know what I'm saying? That sales. That grr is going to sell a lot of copies. It's going to get a lot of people to watch. Now nobody want to hear you just rap. We just shake some booty. As to That's this, what you want to see. Time, we're going to go to 15. We're going to go to 14. We're going to go to 13.
Yo, 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 stop right there. I think the picture I'm painting is No matter how old you are, that's crazy, but that's what it is. Right there. As for this they get the kids on you. story, since I'm a man, I can't really speak on this with authority because, you know, I'm not a woman and I don't know the experience of what being that young girl would be. So this is actually on all my women out there. I Spice is a female rapper. And there's a lot of women out there who love Ice Spice. Now that's cool and all, but when one of y'all do something like this, you better hold each other accountable and speak out against it. I mean, I'm doing my job by holding the guys in the culture accountable. Now it's up to y'all to hold your fellow women accountable. Unfortunately, for most women, they have this, we gotta stick together mindset and i know that because i grew up around women when i was saving my little yogurts for the following day in the fridge so i can have something to munch on at school and i woke up the next day and it was gone it was crickets in my household because women don't snitch on each other women are so loyal to one another that's one thing i learned growing up see us guys man ain't no loyalty just look at the ysl case prime example and here's the thing i don't think this is the first time we're gonna see stuff like this after all when it comes to the female rap side of things <laughs> provocativeness is what's put at the forefront. I think it's one thing if grown women are doing what they do, like I Spice, ain't nothing wrong with that. But I think it's another thing when grown women are doing it, and on top of that, when they're promoting images of young girls joining in on what adults are supposed to be doing. In private, by the way. I mean, what happened to twerking for your man? Chat, rate, rate I Spice 1 out of 10. In private. What happened to- Guys, I just want to hear y'all honestly. Do y'all think I Spice is really bad for real? I want to know. Call for your man and giving him a private show just for the two of y'all to you know have that memory together i mean that's what our parents used to do because you know they couldn't show that shit off to social media right and don't even try asking your mammy and your pappy because they they not gonna admit that bro or what happened in doing it with your homegirls at a secluded property while y'all getting lit off some tequila shots or some casamigos or mm, some fruity the John Moran drinks. <laughs> women be drinking these days. John like Moran the drinks. drinks by the way. Without recording it, I might add. I mean, if you're going to record it, at least, you know, just put it on your close friends and add me to your close friends. So you don't have to put it out publicly. You can just add me to that. Uh, you feel me? Mm. Uh, yeah, say, add me to it. it. With a capital? I don't tell nobody. But with 50 I don't want to blame for this entire thing though, not Ice Spice, not the industry for normalizing stuff like this. I blame this young girl's parents. I guess she could be considered a different case because she's a TikTok star and I'm sure she's bringing in a whole lot of bread for the family. She got like a million followers on the gram. The money aside, what happened to instilling morality in the youth, man? Because when you- Yeah, hey, like I said, don't none of that matter no more. Care about morals and all that. Look, it, look, I'm telling you, that's just what it is now. Ain't nobody worried about more. If they say all you got to do is get on camera and, and twerk for two, three seconds, and you getting paid, they finna do that. They finna let their kid do that. And they finna get paid, paid. They finna do that. They don't care about no more. As a parent, don't uh, stuff is out the window. Intervene when your children are putting themselves out to the world like this. That opens a door for a lot of bad things coming their way, like a whole lot of perverted grown men energy. Is that something they want for their daughter? I'm sure they don't care because she would have not been in this music video, let alone portrayed herself in the way she portrays herself. Don't want to talk too much about that, but I did check out her Instagram because I do research for every piece of content I put out, and this young girl does not portray herself like a average 16 year old what happened to children just being children yeah, i thought she was grown i didn't even pay attention children, man i didn't like know she was 16 and that's crazy become adults in the most inappropriate ways and another thing is i don't think this generation cares too much about protecting the innocence of these kids there's a reason why all this inappropriate stuff is so normalized in every facet of the industry now and all this is getting pushed because people are not pushing back on it we're just accepting things as they get presented to us not knowing the implications it has on a societal level all this stuff that's going on is directly having a detrimental effect on the minds of so many kids because what the children are seeing is a bunch of adults enabling certain behaviors and certain ways of showing up and so what happens is since children are impressionable and they mirror adults they follow suit that's what they said about kim k daughter they see what the adults are accepting. That's why Kanye didn't want his daughter on those social medias. Accepting and that becomes a new normal. She want to be the next High Spice. So we got a bunch MK of young girls twerking. No one back What's her name? North or something like that. Hey, we got she a bunch of young boys guns. No one bats an eye. 
this becomes a new way of showing up and as that's changing there's other stuff in the midst of that that gets introduced and our focus shifts from what's currently going on to these other things that are now on display that's of course by design so we get distracted before we know it children are no more children because they've now passed the point of indoctrination and once that happens it's already too late we should have stopped the flooding when there was a stream of water making its way through the little crack because once the water is pouring full force time is up the kids are brainwashed because they saw how we as adults were enabling everything that was being put in front of them it is what it is anyway don't leave the video without dropping a like okay it literally takes hey, wait, that look like that's the end of this video let me know in the comments how y'all feel about i spice do y'all really care y'all probably don't even care huh we don't care about that for real happened too many times we're not really tripping or do y'all want do y'all have something to say about i spice in this let me know that below in the comments make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to the channel do subscribe is greatly appreciate i'm gonna see y'all in the next video